Hello, hello, Blartanian here, bringing you Love, the Melody of Courage, Lufania. Bringing a team of Eldnarsh, Golbez, and Kurosame. It's a lovely summer day here where I am, but we're going to spend it terrorizing some birds. Got my ice cold beverage here, sitting out in the lawn, in the lawn chair, sunglasses, the works. This is the kind of environment in which you want to scare the hell out of a bunch of birds. Stay hydrated. So, speaking of a uh, cool frosty beverage, we have our Onion Knight LD call here. The purpose of this is, well, for one thing we're going to go ahead and use Colbez there, is not to give Kurosami a free AA use, although we'll use that, take advantage of that real quick, since he's not going to be running out of skills, might as well get the free stat boost. It is to give Eldnarsh a free C65 usage. Reason being, we're going to go in immediately to uh, his phase shift with the terror. And so by starting with that, he gets the free duration up. And uh, now we have four turns of terror to work with, along with a lock from the Sela's call. We won't be using the Sela's LD call because we're going to run out of debuffs lots if we do that. We need to keep that gold bezin peril up. You'll see I use the Onion Knight base call there to help manage the orb. Uh, it's getting a little low for my taste. And there's going to be a lot of this, a lot of HP plusing. Um, even going into this fight with the mentality of I'm going to burn Eldnarsh out and do as much damage as possible uh, Eldnarsh has a lot of free turns and a lot of those turns are going to be spent just throwing HP attacks because you know the EX is charged but we don't need to use it because Terror doesn't need to be reapplied and we're not using his skills if his EX is already charged because those EX the skills are most important for recharging his EX in the first place on the free turns uh, since his HP plus does not charge the EX if used on a free turn. So, we're actually going to go ahead and use Exceed Lance here, you see, because even though they have a turn of Terror of Waiting, I want to queue up the free C65 usage on his regular turn, so that I don't waste one of his free warp turns using it. Because if you use it on a warp turn, it just uses the warp turn. You don't, it, you know, it doesn't count as a free turn the way A's normally do. So go ahead and reapply terror. Reapply our ice damage. Reapply that hydration. Oh, that's good. And we are now. Getting into that uh, that eight, post eight percent, what would be a sprint uh, damage race to deal with, you know, just how deadly these guys are during this phase. But Eldnarsh makes that unnecessary. Instead, we just go ahead and hit them with a sad, unimperiled Golbez attack. It seems I uh, I let it fall off the imperil at some point. Um, that's a problem with running Eldnarsh here. A lot of generic unframed debuffs running around in addition to his frame ones. Pushed off the LD or the Golbez in peril. We'll just have to get that back on there right now. That was a little bit sad. That's a friendly reminder of one of Golbez's biggest weaknesses is uh, if you're not careful with the debuff, his damage becomes a lot less impressive. So I mentioned earlier, the game plan here is going to be to try to burn Eldnarsh out pretty early so that we can bring Garland in to seal the deal. Got uh, my buddy Indolent Lard sitting on deck down there. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna link his YouTube page in the description here. Indolent Lard is uh, a fantastic content creator who makes really well well edited videos and is doing a pretty fantastic 7 saga, saga that I highly recommend you check out. Also genuinely probably one of the nicest folks I've met in this community so uh, if you're watching this definitely go give him a check out. reapply for some skill one I uh, in a previous run I just straight up forgot to use a skill one and it fell off and I just felt like a doofus so trying to make sure that doesn't happen also didn't want to max out the uh... maybe this wasn't the part where I uh, there's gonna be a part at one point in their video where I skill one just to avoid capping his uh, the hero debuff right before they act but That'll just be something that happens. You know, just, that's Kurosama kind of one-on-one in a sense, is just 
trying to maximize the amount of time you spend with them having five stacks. Ah, here we are. Using the skill one instead of skill two so that they stay at uh, relatively high stack numbers. Yeah, Eldnarsh, um... He's very turn efficient with his warping, but he actually his his damage over time these days isn't you know he's not really a damage dealer. He's he's a kind of utility shutdown character, similar to you know, Kefka, um, where you don't really bring him specifically for his damage, although the damage is a nice bonus. Um, Golbez is actually the one who's going to be doing the bulk of the damage carrying here, and is the main reason we meet the turn count. Spam and HP pluses. We're 30 turns in, and we're not at the halfway point, which is a little, a little worrying. But we're hoping that uh, once once Garland comes in, that'll that'll stop being a problem. So I was queuing up those exceed lance into C65s earlier without using the free turns. Unfortunately, here, I, the way I figure it, I don't think there's a way around it. So I have to waste one of the warp turns reapplying the C65. But it's okay, we can go ahead and, well in this case I think we're going to HP attack one more time because B has a turn of terror that we can take advantage of. So that's one free little shot we can get. Now, it's time to Vortex. So, um, uh, get pretty close to the 50% mark, so it's going to be Golba's, you know, Garland time pretty soon, having two of them on the same team. I'm just lucky Gabranth isn't here, Jesus Christ. Mega Javelin. We're running pretty low on the skills and stuff. We're gonna go ahead and use the free turn. Here's a trick with Eldnarsh. If you bring your buddy in on the free turn, you actually get an extra turn of them being around. I actually made probably a bit of a mistake here. Starting with the burst, when I probably should have started with the LD. Or at least, yeah, no, I should have started with the LD there because... <laughs> um... My thinking was to go into the Golbez LD. We could have gotten the defense down, and you'll see later, just uh, a couple of little things here and there that would have been better if I just started with that LD instead. Such as right here, Garland would have delayed him on that hit, which would have been nice. But hopefully it won't come back to haunt me. Tried to break them in order, but wasn't able to, unfortunately. Not without doing something dumb like Brave attacking or something, God help me. Debert's gonna do an awesome, awesome gold best twin moon. Man, that's such a cool animation. <laughs> Golbez is really cool. I'm, I'm really glad I got him. It's a very viscerally fun use, unit to use. Not unlike Garland. This was another mistake here. I still haven't used the LD. My thinking was, at the time I was like, ooh, EX, I bet I could get two EXs in during the course of this. Uh, not realizing that if you use the EX without the LD having been used, it's not nearly as useful. Uh, so that was just kind of a whole mess of questionable decisions, one after the other. At least we got a, we finally got that delay in the air that I was talking about. Goodness. Finally using his LD. Should have started with that from the beginning. Chuck some more meteors at him. Boom. Getting pretty close, but uh, we're past the 30% mark now. Really just time to throw everything we got at them. We have the Ramu Paralyze on them. So I'm pretty, we're pretty safe in terms of them taking actions. I'm pretty sure Terror's on them as well still, if uh, they happen to come, you know, take turns before, uh, before we're able to kill them. I'm just spamming that LD. Thinking here is I'm focusing A because A has turns coming up sooner. Uh, although you, you do see the Health is becoming pretty pretty skewed. I'm trying to do something to address that. Get another LD, push them back, push them back, push them back. They're still paralyzed. We're feeling good about that. And now it does so much damage. I love it. God, that LD is so good. Um, that said, uh, 
8%, 5 turns to go, and Kurosame taking some of them. A little bit stressful. So I uh, make another mistake here. don't know if you... You probably can't see it coming just yet, but... Getting close. We really just need Golbez to take as many turns as possible. Uh, Altnarsh, I did something I didn't know. I was curious. I was, I was like, I should have known because I knew about the C65 thing. But I think to myself, well, maybe calls are okay to use during his free turns. Maybe these won't waste the free turn if you use it. Turns out the answer is no. You do lose the free turn if you do that. So just uh, keep that in mind when playing Altnarsh. We're getting real close now. We get to reapply Terror, but this is getting really, really close. We are. 49 turns, we're about to be the 50th turn. Wait, ooh, one last Omega Javelin. Maybe this will help. It does indeed, and we get the kill. Exactly 50 turns, my goodness. Should have played that Garland st stuff better. Anyway, there we go. Cleared with Eldnarsh. And, uh, yeah, give us a like if you enjoyed this. Consider subscribing. I just hit 100 subs, and I want to thank you all for that. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Adios.